Nobody in the government wants you to know this, but we will tell you. The race between Kamala Harris and Trump was closer than you think. It all came down to the very last few votes. And that makes you wonder if there is more to this election than right and wrong. In a shocking turn of events, Kamala Harris faces an unexpected loss in the US election 2024. As the US election heats up, the clash we've all been waiting for is on the horizon. Harris versus Trump. But this isn't just politics. It's about a Kamala Harris campaign that's pulling out all the stops. With her intense charisma, she's drawing as much attention to her lifestyle as her policies. Before this, even the Simpsons have talked about Trump's fortune, but have you ever wondered about Kamala Harris' net worth or the secrets of her stunning Kamala Harris house? And how does her Kamala Harris family fit into this powerful picture? From designer wardrobes to the inner workings of her private life, Harris's world is as intriguing as her fight for the future. Don't miss this reveal of the woman aiming to make history. Stay tuned to uncover the layers behind the political powerhouse. Kamala Harris's financial journey stands out, especially as she vies with former President Donald Trump for the White House. According to Forbes, Kamala Harris's net worth hovers around $8 million USD, a fortune accumulated not just through politics, but from savvy investments, book royalties, and joint earnings with her husband, Douglas Emhoff. Harris, 60, has spent most of her adult life in government, starting as San Francisco's district attorney a role where she earned about $200,000 annually by the end of her tenure. As California's Attorney General, her income dropped to $159,000 per year. And as a U.S. Senator, she made $174,000 annually. Now, as Vice President, she earns $235,100 each year. Her husband, Douglas Emhoff, a former high-profile entertainment lawyer, was pulling in over $1 million annually before stepping back to support her role as VP. Together, they've built a substantial portfolio of investments and cash reserves valued at $2.9 million to $6.6 .6 million. Their property in Los Angeles, purchased in 2012 for $1 million, is now valued at $4.4 million, adding significant weight to their assets. Harris's writing career has also contributed to her wealth. Her books have brought in over $500,000 in royalties. Furthermore, their KDH DCE Family Trust and cash holdings of up to $850,000 bolster their financial standing. Comparatively, Donald Trump's wealth is far more complex, often shrouded in secrecy and debate. Unlike Trump, Kamala Harris has disclosed her finances openly publishing tax returns and ethics disclosures, reflecting a transparent approach. Her relatively modest yet stable financial growth contrasts sharply with Trump's unpredictable assets, reinforcing her public image as both committed to public service and financially prudent. As the 2024 U.S. election unfolds, the Harris versus Trump contest isn't just about leadership styles. It's a tale of two vastly different financial journeys. Will Harris's transparency and stable finances resonate with voters? Well, there is more to this story than you think. Kamala Harris's lifestyle has stirred mixed reactions, especially as she emphasizes her middle-class roots. Despite her claims, Harris's estimated net worth of $10 million, a $284,600 taxpayer-funded salary, and ownership of three homes, including one in a neighborhood shared by LeBron James, have some questions about her authenticity. How can someone with three luxury homes claim to understand middle-class struggles? One skeptic posted on social media. Another echoed this sentiment saying, she talks about the American dream, but that's not the reality for most of us. Donald Trump, her political rival, has capitalized on this divide, claiming Harris is out of touch with ordinary Americans. The American dream is really elusive right now, and she's part of the reason why, he said on Truth Social. Alluding to her policies as part of the Biden administration, yet Harris's supporters see her differently. She's the daughter of immigrants, and that's what makes her relatable. One admirer commented, if she can make it, so can we. As the election closes, Harris's ability to connect with voters will be critical. Recent polls, including one by Siena College and the New York Times, show her with a slight lead, underscoring her appeal as a symbol of change despite concerns about her affluent lifestyle. 
When we talk about her affluent lifestyle and influence, there is one name that we cannot miss, her husband, Douglas Emhoff. Kamala Harris's husband, Doug Emhoff, has been a steadfast partner through her political rise, adding a new dynamic to the image of a modern first family. Harris met Emhoff, a Los Angeles-based entertainment lawyer, in 2013 while serving as California's Attorney General, and they married a year later. Emhoff's loyalty has been unmistakable. When Harris made history as the first Black and South Asian woman vice president in 2020, he too made history as the nation's first second gentleman and the first Jewish spouse of a vice president. Emhoff, 60, left his successful law career to support his wife fully, becoming a visible and vocal advocate for democratic causes. At the Democratic National Convention, he proudly took the stage to introduce Harris, saying, she's always been there for our children, and I know she'll always be there for yours too. Emhoff's two children from his previous marriage, Cole and Ella, call Harris Momala, an affectionate blend of mom and Kamala. They've embraced her warmly, describing her as the world's greatest stepmother. Cole works in the entertainment industry, and Ella, a Parsons School of Design graduate, models and creates fashion. Even Emhoff's ex-wife, Kirsten, speaks highly of Harris, emphasizing their harmonious co-parenting relationship. Kirsten has said, Kamala is loving, nurturing, fiercely protective, and always present. Their blended family dynamic showcases a unique and supportive bond, defying traditional molds and bringing a fresh, relatable vibe to the White House. Despite the generally positive reception of Kamala Harris's family, they have not been free from criticism and controversy, some of which have fueled negative sentiment. One notable instance involved her niece, Mina Harris, whose career in the public eye and business ventures, especially her brand, Phenomenal, sparked backlash. Shortly after Harris took office as vice president, Mina was criticized for using her aunt's political influence to boost her personal brand. Her merchandise, such as vice president auntie sweatshirts, raised ethical questions about profiting from familial connections, prompting the White House to issue guidelines restricting Mina from using her aunt's image or title for business purposes. Additionally, Kamala's husband, Doug Emhoff, has faced scrutiny for leaving his prestigious law career to serve as second gentleman, with some questioning his qualifications and dedication to democratic values in light of his previous corporate work. Though these issues haven't seriously undermined Harris's political role, they've introduced a level of skepticism toward her family's intentions and potential conflicts of interest, with critics wary of the boundary between public service and personal gain. I guess you have to take the good with the bad, and that goes for both our candidates. The 2024 US elections broke all precedent, and here is why. As Kamala Harris faces a stunning loss in the US election 2024, questions linger. What went wrong in the high-stakes Harris versus Trump battle? Was the Kamala Harris campaign too focused on the wrong issues? With the future uncertain, we dive deep into Kamala Harris lifestyle from her opulent Kamala Harris house to the dynamics of her Kamala Harris family. But here's the twist. How will this impact her Kamala Harris net worth and her next move? The answers are more shocking than you think. Don't miss out. This story is far from over.